In today's video you are going to see some glimpses from our online lessons with students where we tried to discover the world through photography and we also practiced asking questions in English correctly. Before you continue watching, and I know some of my students will be watching this, let's revise how we ask questions in English correctly. English is very logical language. Every word has its own place. So if you remember the rule of five fingers, you will be always asking questions correctly. What is the rule about? This finger, the thumb, is responsible for question words. What question words do you know? Where, when, why, what, how, how many, how much, how often. All this Question words are connected with this one. This finger points usually at something. So in our case, it will be the auxiliary verb because the auxiliary verb usually points at tense. Is it future? Is it present? Or is it past? And the auxiliary verbs which we have are do, did, have, has, will, is m r so question word auxiliary verb this finger the middle one is the longest so it's the subject of the sentence this one is the verb and it is the sense verb the main verb gives the sense to the sentence like i have the ring on this finger and it usually tells that the person is married and family is the sense of my life. So this verb gives sense to the sentence. And the little finger is just what is left, all the rest parts in your interrogative sentence. So let's see how it works. Where did you buy this hat? What are you doing tomorrow? Where have you seen this film? Why did she buy this book? And so on. So keep in mind the rule of five fingers and your questions in English will be always perfect. You have to ask a person one mm -hmm. question and you choose whom you want to address that question. Your objective is to, f to get three positive answers and you take turns. Like, um, are you married? Uh, yes, I'm married. Irina, uh, are you not in Russia right now? Do you rent a flat? Right now, right now I don't rent a flat. Irina, do you have a pet? Yes, I do. Have you visited uh, an exotic place? Yes, Nepal. I, I, I guess it's exotic. Which place. is a real picture taken from National Geographic website. Where do you think this picture was taken and when? I think it is in Asia, in India, or. You know, Pakistan, something like this. As I noticed uh, when I was in Nepal, uh, people really li uh, live in like this. Uh, agree with Denise. Uh, maybe it is uh, somewhere in Indonesia. Maybe it's uh, uh, somewhere in Eastern Europe, like uh, Serbia. But uh, I don't think so. Middle Asia, Middle Asia, Syria, or Iraq, or something like this. Okay, good guesses, guys. Now you will have to ask me questions about the same picture, but you already see my answers. What, uh, uh, what, uh, um, sen, maybe, what sen uh, 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 does this photo uh, show? Okay, this photo shows a traditional lifestyle in Afghanistan. Good. Next. Uh, okay, where are men? Yeah, where are the men? Are they inside the home? Oh. Yes, they are. 
Uh-huh. Where and when was the picture taken? It's probably uh, Indonesia. Uh-huh. Indonesia. Uh-huh. Uh, and uh, or it's probably a place near is Indonesia. Probably it's uh, uh, Vietnam uh, or maybe Thailand. Uh, Because what is the evidence? Okay, it's uh, a lot of uh, uh, plants uh, around the man, and uh, of course uh, he has. Uh, yeah, he looks like a guy who lives in Indonesia. He was. Uh, Brown skin. Uh, he... What do you think it is? An interesting plant. I know. I know. Yes, it looks like a, a giant flower. So these are the answers. You ask questions. What is Asian guy doing on the photo? How, How is How? giant How is... flower cold? Yes, it is cold. Rafflesia. Where uh, where was this photo taken? What uh, is the size of the flower? <laughs> when was this flower found? In 1818.